The science behind Wolverine's healing factor is pretty amazing and weird. From how his tissue manages to regenerate at lightning speeds, makes him fully immune to all poisons and diseases, and how it keeps him from aging. Which is something I would love to have just to experience more interesting things in life. The reason why Wolverine's healing factor works so fast and powerfully is that, for one, his blood is carrying a massive nuclear-sized arsenal of proteins compared to the average humans. That's more like a Nerf gun. That clots and allows the broken or missing tissues to be rebuilt at an astonishing rate. But this process happens so fast thanks to not only so many proteins floating around in his blood, but likely to an extremely high hemoglobin count, which is the molecule that is responsible for carrying the precious oxygen needed to repair and regenerate tissues at all. With Logan's blood easily having quadrupled the standard human amount for the outrageous amount of somewhere over, at minimum, 30 to more likely 60 grams of hemoglobin per deciliter of blood flowing through him at any given moment. And this works so well that Wolverine never scars like her human's regular healing process does, as our bodies rush to repair themselves, albeit with a lot less of all this stuff. Really, the extreme rate that we see Logan's healing factor able to kick in at and save him whenever he's shot or stabbed is due most importantly to an extremely enhanced cellular signaling that occurs whenever an injury happens, where a complex cascade of cells signaling to one another, alerting his body that an injury has happened and immediate action is needed. Normally, this process occurs completely over a series of days to weeks as cells and other bits rush in to fix what's needed. A sequence that Wolverine's healing factor follows, except instead of his cells signaling to one another by way of archers shooting arrows attached with notes, they are instead armed with cell phones and rapid fire machine guns. While most of us have a pantry of building materials to choose from, as we wait for workers to walk to the construction site, Wolverine has warehouses full of stuff ready to go with workers that are catapulted to the injury site via spaceships equipped with hyperdrives. Wolverine regenerates his tissue so fast that one could argue that if he's replacing his cells at such an alarming rate, he should be aging equally as fast. That would be true unless Wolverine's healing factor only ever activates when it's needed, and only to the specific area where it's needed to rebuild and replace damaged tissue, before it goes back to either lying dormant or being used on a much smaller scale as it oversees processes like the cell division within his organs, replacement of new blood cells, and makes darn sure that he has a massive amount of proteins and immune cells pumping through him every second. While we still haven't gotten into the heart of what makes his healing factor work, this also means that his regeneration ability is heavily relying upon an equally if not more powerful immune system that is so insanely beefed up with the many cells needed to clean up debris, dead tissue, deal with invading pathogens, and most importantly, lay the essential groundwork for the new tissue to be built upon. What this comes down to is Wolverine's healing factor can be found, and as even Dracula tried to do, cultivated directly from his blood, except as Dracula and his mad scientist discovered, Wolverine's blood isn't enough to unlock the secrets behind his healing factor that grants him complete immunity to all disease and slows down his aging. A secret that remains locked within a special part of his body that almost no one could ever touch, but maybe they don't need to. Wolverine's regenerative abilities, thanks to his special part, not only give him quick tissue repair, but also wipe out any and all known and unknown diseases or poisons from ever inflicting him too much harm. The most lethal poison you will ever face is the one that your body has never been exposed to in any amount, and does massive harm rather quickly. This means that Logan's healing factor is able to not only respond to and deal with a potential poison, drug, or even cancerous cell via his hypercell signaling incredibly fast, but can do something equally important, as it can recognize a new foreign substance as being harmful rather than helpful, no matter how sophisticated or novel the substance is. Wolverine's body is so good at doing this that in order to incapacitate him, S.H.I.E.L.D. had to administer 80 milliliters of high-grade anesthetic every single minute to keep him unconscious, whereas full-sized African elephants can be sedated with anywhere from a lot less to equal amounts of anesthetic, except over the course of an hour rather than every minute. But it's the source of where Wolverine's blood comes from that holds the true fountain of youth for the character and others seeking to replicate it.
it. And this special locked away place is none other than his bone marrow. As much as I would love to never get sick again and drag myself through yet another off-sounding voiceover, Logan's eternal youth is thanks to a special cell other than his blood that his bone marrow constantly produces at a staggering rate. Perhaps the most important thing that keeps Wolverine from ever falling prey to old age, as old useless cells build up in his body, could be because he can produce flawless new ones whenever he needs to, thanks to the special stem cells lying within his bones, making the area beneath Wolverine's adamantium covered bones a reservoir for one of the most special substances in the entire Marvel Universe. You see, these cells not only are able to differentiate into red blood cells, but they can also turn themselves into new bone, cartilage, or even fat cells via that hyperfast cell signaling that we talked about. But even weirder is what these stem cells are actually counteracting. Simply put, aging, even for Wolverine, is caused by physics, by the wear and tear of trillions of processes. Processes that cause primary factors of aging to occur, like the dysfunction of our epigenome that determines which genes should be active and which are not, as unwanted proteins build up in our cells over time, slowing them down, the mitochondria that provide us with our precious energy begin to fail, and the telomeres that protect our very chromosomes for generating new cells, acting as the plastic tips on shoelaces whittle away. Ultimately, Wolverine's healing ability is able to stop, or rather, completely bypass the end result of aging that eventually bring our bodies screeching to a halt and kill us. This means that Wolverine's healing ability is very, very special. Even more than we may have previously imagined, as while Logan's existing cells may have their previous machinery destroyed due to toxins, deadly wounds, or massive radioactive explosions, rendering them useless, his bone marrow seems to house and produce such a massive supply of lightning-fast stem cells that they instantly fill in the missing gaps, taking whatever resources are floating around in his warehouse-like blood to do so, making him all shiny and new in no time. In fact, almost anything that would kill a normal person or show them as having signs of aging, Wolverine is able to replace in a flash thanks to the many rich systems that make up his healing factor, that seem to exist to simply aid his regular cells and ultimately stem cells in rebuilding his body if and when they're needed, with Wolverine's protected bone marrow lying at the heart of it all. But if none of this was very interesting, then I saved an interesting fact for last. Despite Wolverine's amazing healing factor, he reports having phantom pain, sometimes from injuries he sustained months to many years ago, like the pain he experiences every time his claws rip through his arm and hand. So watch this video if you want to see the weird science behind how Wolverine's claws work. See you in the next one!